Kenya, we're at the stage where so many of these distinguished professionals have retired and come back to their respective homes. In this case, Seaya has got most of them here. All of those, if we approach them, would accept to become Rotarians. Why do we only have two clubs? Yet the demand on this side for projects and for interventions is through the roof. You spoke about it. Youth empowerment, medical around health, environment. Yet, when we visit the county commissioner, when we visit the, 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 uh, the secretary to the county, they request to become Rotarians. They're not saying it in jest. They mean it. We find rhinos there also. <laughs> we have no shortage of numbers. Why don't we want to reach our full potential? Are we afraid of the success? Are we afraid of the job or the, the, the responsibility that it will give us? It's a question you need to ask yourselves. You have the people in Nairobi and elsewhere, or even in Central, to get the people of the caliber that you already have here, who have the time, the expertise, to deliver on these community needs, we should have 10 clubs. Start looking at the data of other clubs in other counties, how many they are. There's a direct relation between the number and the impacts that these ones are making, depending on the number. Siaya, Sagam, let us reach our full potential. Let us have a strategic plan that encompasses, because this is unique to yourself. If we go to another county, it's different. I'm speaking to your unique circumstances. So that we give you the support to be able to do that. That you enter into partnerships with different organizations, with the county, with the government. You heard the statements that were made. Let us take it further. The district has a lot of activations that it does. We do medical camps, as you know, on a regional basis. You should push for those medical camps to be held in Sagam. Polio, or whatever is going on, 